France and elsewhere, Tunisia, Egypt, Wisconsin. Uh, we have at least two important left uh, political regroupments in France who represent anti-capitalism in different forms. On one side, we have the new anti-capitalist party, of which I'm a member, and, but we have also the left front, which regroups the communist party, a left socialist party, and other groups. Yeah? And uh, this is, I think, a very positive development. But anti-capitalism is much broader than these political formations. There is broad uh, rise in anti-capitalist feelings among <coughs> the people, the workers, the students, the women. Uh, if one would see the mass demonstrations and strikes which took place a few months ago in France against a reactionary pension plan of the government of Monsieur Sarkozy, one could easily feel this anti-capitalist rage among many, not all of course, but many of the people who came, uh, who organized the strikes and who came to the demonstrations. And this has to do with the crisis, of course, and the policies of the government, but it uh, goes deeper. Monsieur Sarkozy said, well, uh, we have to do something about the crisis. There are all these irresponsible speculators and corrupt uh, managers, etc. We have to moralize capitalism. Yes? That's his proposition. Now, uh, we know that, unfortunately, this doesn't work. Yeah? And I would like to quote a well-known Marxist author, which said, I quote, capitalism is neither ethical nor anti-ethical, but simply non-ethical, foreign to any ethics. It is a masterless slavery in which the system capitalism imprisons, imprisons the worker and the debtor. And it can be challenged only as an institution. End of the quote. It's not a Marxist author, it's Max Weber, a bourgeois sociologist, but he understood something better than Monsieur Sarkozy. Now, capitalism is not only about exploitation, it is also about destruction. Capitalism destroys human values, social relations, communities, culture, and the nature. And I would like to focus on this last element, the disastrous character of capitalism in relation to the natural environment and the consequences which are obvious to everybody, climate change, global warming, a threat to life on the planet without precedent in human history. Now, the capitalists have a solution for this. Yeah? The problem of the greenhouse gases, etc., provoking global warming, it's a very simple technical solution. It's enough if we replace uh, the oil and, and coal which produce the gas with another form of energy which is clean and safe and zero emissions. Nuclear power. <laughs> Nuclear power. That's the, the solution, the elegant and simple solution. And uh, France has been in the vanguard of this development. No country has so a uh, big amount of nuclear plants by, by capita, per capita, as France. So, uh, no, not surprisingly, the anti-nuclear movement is also on the rise in <coughs> France, and it's obvious the intimate relation between the logics of nuclear power and the capitalist system. So, uh, but uh, there are other plans for a solution to the global warming. I've, been, uh, I've read a report on a secret Pentagon uh, project, what to do if the planet becomes inappropriate, unsuitable for human life because of global warming. So here comes a brilliant proposition. We will send a, a rocket to the planet Mars, 
Yeah? Hoping that their conditions will be better. And in this uh, rocket, there will be space enough for the President of the United States, the government, some uh, chief of staff uh, and other military brass, some scientists, etc., uh, etc. Et we are not invited to this trip, so we are not particularly interested. So, uh, in the one and a half minute I've left, two minutes, wonderful. I just want to say one thing. Uh, capitalism is not going to die a natural death. This is a quote from Walter Benjamin. We have to get rid of it. Yeah? And for this, we need a revolution. And what is a revolution? I will quote again Walter Benjamin, uh, who said, revolutions are perhaps not the locomotives of history, but humanity which pulls the emergency brake to stop the train. And this is very true. We are in a train, the train of capitalist civilization, which is leading to an abyss, yeah? which is called ecological or atomic catastrophe. So it's high time that we pulled the emergency brakes to stop this suicidal train of capitalist civilization. Thank you.